Alright, welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna talk about my first time finishing or playing through my very first JRPG. Yeah, turn base. Turn base. Yeah, so <laughs> let's talk about it. I want to do it in kind of a review style. We do have categories to follow. We both know I can't follow no, the categories very well. Do. I get off track so badly. And this game, yeah, because it was so long, yeah. I actually had to take notes. You picked Skies of Arcadia. Mm -hmm. So that's the one I'm talking about today. Shenmu was in there, and also Grandia too. This one wasn't, but this is my entire Dreamcast collection. Yeah. So, Skies of Arcadia is the first game I played through on my Dreamcast. Because mm -hmm. I only had my Dreamcast, I bought it, but I don't even know if it's been a year. So we have seven criteria for, I guess, kind of loosely reviewing the games we're talking about with these community picks. The first one, which I think is the most important and should be the opener for any review, is your story. Story. Yeah. So the story goes, you are... Um, an air or sky pirate. You're a pirate. It's all pirates, but you're you're Skyrit. Uh, you're a skyrit. <laughs> Your ships actually fly. Yeah. And they're all powered by moonstones. There are six different color moons, and it's, it has to do with all the magic in that world. Okay. So, this world is basically what was left over from a big disaster. They didn't say how many. I maybe I didn't. Register. It's register. a big game. Yeah, I didn't register how long, but it was a big disaster that basically wiped out the entire world. And then there's six continents with six different color moons, and they all have certain types of magic per okay. continent. And they all kind of coincide with your uh, your weapons. You can change the colors so that you can use different all color right. magics and stuff like that, and you can upgrade all that stuff. But the story goes... Um, like any story, there's always a main bad guy, Lord Galactian. He's your main antagonist, and Vice, along with the crew, he always has four in his party, yeah. is your protagonist. Yes. Throughout the game, you're basically, you're, in, you're searching for all the moon crystals. Different colors crystals for each moon. Now I had no idea they were called moon crystals, but I just remember you saying, I have this many, and I've fucking lost this many, and then I have this many, and I was like, do you have them all yet? Yeah, because I'm, I'm sure the, you got the whole story that. is that Lord Galactian is trying to collect all six crystals to unleash this destructive rains or whatever, which okay. basically is what happened early on, pretty much wiped out the planet. Okay. So he wants to unleash it again. What he's not going to unleash, wipe out the entire planet. He's going to use it as control over everybody. He's going to wipe out one continent and say, look, this, this is, is my what... weapon of mass destruction. Don't <laughs> fuck with me. <laughs> you know? So oh, then God. these pirates are on a mission because... Skyrits. Sky, yeah, Skyrits, sure. <laughs> They're on a mission to go and collect them all before he does. I don't even know how to like basically s compress this down because it was it took me we figured it my last save was at 70 hours and 53 minutes I think. Yes. So I figure I finished the game around the 73 hour mark so I for know. me to try to compress this all down is gonna be difficult. Yeah well I, I mean I think that's a pretty good overview of what the story is because you're yeah. giving us the main kind of like the this is your objective that's yeah. the story. So. What about the difficulty? Because <laughs> because this is my first time playing a turn base RPG I don't I didn't get it at first. Yeah. You know, there's a strategy, and you, I don't know, like it's all a foreign language to me. How to use the magics and you know, yeah. the combat. It's all foreign. Like it was. So it was a learning curve brand at new. the first, you know, five to ten hours. I was mm -hmm. trying to figure it out. Now there's two different types of combat because you have your airship, yeah, which is set up in a different way of combat, and then. You're also like your people, your party on the ground fighting hand to hand is a different kind of combat. Mm -hmm. Both are pretty cool. Um, I've heard some complaints online that they didn't like the airship stuff because there's a lot of kind of dead time in between, almost like a loading screen, stay in between sequences of yeah. attack sequences. Yeah. I, I really didn't I, care. I think. I liked it. I think that 
comparing apples to oranges because yeah. you know you have machines that run faster that have you have to think about the age of the game too and this game i do believe is from 2000 or 2001 yeah. why doesn't that seem that long ago because you're old because we're old i think i felt like the it's biggest diff difficulty of the game for you was traversing the map oh shit <laughs> and because with and your being airship in the wrong place right place wrong time and vice I've versa. I've done that, yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the map itself, because you start off with an airship and you don't, you, you only have the ability to go to certain places because of these big, there's obstacles like there's rock. Yeah, um, there was always rifts, a blockade. There's you always were like, I can't something get this way. Constantly, but as you go through the game, you upgrade your ship and then eventually you get another ship and then you upgrade that one so that by the time you're at the end of the game, you can literally fly above or below all that yeah. stuff and you can really traverse the map way faster. So on a whole, would you say it's a difficult game? Diffic it's not a difficult game. No? Uh, for anybody that plays any of the RPG style, for me it was a little bit difficult It was a learning first. curve situation. Yeah. And yeah. I literally, um, the first, one of the first boss battles, I was just like, I don't know why the fuck I keep dying. And then Dennis came down, was here that day, and he's like, basically like calm me the fuck down because I yeah. want to, I want to attack, I want to attack, fuck, fuck, kill you, kill you, kill you. And I just, we ended up dying, where it was more of a, you have to like really take a step it's back. It's a strategy it's, game, yeah. Yeah, you almost have to wait them out there because if you go all in, then you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose a, a, one of your members of your party, right? And then you and then told me you lo lose a turn because you have to heal that person yeah. and, and it kind of oh, it's a, shakes things up. Well, I didn't way. understand all that. And yeah. He was just, he basically kind of talked me through it. And I had mentioned that to him before, even yeah. getting into the game. So I wouldn't mind having you down here because I was never a big fan of it. Anytime I tried it, I never understood it. Yeah. And he basically just, well, do this. We'll do that. Okay, do this. And then... I was like, I beat him the first try. And I had tried probably like five or six times before. Oh, and, wow. and I was like, well, fuck, that was easy. Well, and shit, I good kind job. of like opened my eyes to how there's more strategy. Reacting, acting or reacting quick. Yeah, yeah. And But this is different. This is almost, I, wouldn't, I, I described it to you as like a chess game, but we all know I can't play chess. What about uh, gameplay? What, did, what? How did you find the gameplay? Well, gather your thoughts. Gameplay was... Uh, I have nothing to compare it to. Yeah. Because it's a new genre for me. I like the gameplay because Good. it took a bit. It, at first it felt slow, but when you're getting into like those magic attacks or special attacks mm -hmm. and stuff like that, there's this big s animations they put on and it all looks fantastic. Um, it's not hard. It's not a hard game. You it's just more need about... to know the strategy of the game in order to yeah. Yeah, and then you can you kind of get it's, a feel for the gameplay. I don't I don't feel like the game has aged a little bit on the camera, like because that when you're on in your third person and you're yeah. running around the map, that camera can like. Well, you showed me one part. Wonky, one one part where you're like going like this, and I was like, when oh, you're that's when tricky. you're in space, yeah, you can literally because there's no gravity. And you go up, you start down. you start upside down, but yeah, like uh, I. The third person camera view can get a little trippy, but it's not bad it's not bad by yeah, some it's... comparisons there that are some games are horrible. Yeah. Um but if you need to look around, you can switch it to first person view. Oh, that's so then fantastic. you can look around and like, okay, well I have to take that right and I'll go right. And you didn't know that initially, did you? Not at first. No. Because no. you were getting a little bit lost, and you were like, I didn't even know I could do that! Because yeah. everything looked the same to you yeah. at one part. Now, I guess for gameplay, I should just say how long it... Well, I already said, it took me... I, about 73, about 73 hours. hours. I looked it up online, and some people were saying in the 50-hour mark... You, you got finish lost it. for a little bit, though, I, in certain spots. And... I got lost real bad a couple times. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <laughs> I know mistakes like... Yeah, Fina's weapon is called Cupel, like kind of like a Pokemon. <laughs> and then the, you have to find the only way you can upgrade her weapon is if you find Chams, which is what, what happens when my controller beeps. I'm a oh, controller of the machine. Okay. First well, 20 hours of the game, I had earbuds in because she's always on the PS4 and my tube TV. So I had earbuds in. I don't hear the machine beep. So I never grabbed. Fuck all for the first 20 hours. Well, and I was saying to him, I was like, it's beeping. And you're like, yeah, yeah it's really loud when it loads. And I was like, 
No, I don't think you know what I mean. It's beeping, and you're like, I don't know, anyway, it's whatever. My little guy comes up on the screen it, and stuff. Well, then I noticed, because his, 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 his tongue actually sticks out and points down like an arrow. And I was like, what the fuck? And I hit my button, and I jammed, one jam found. I'm like, what's that do? And so I go, and you click on it, and you go to use it, and it goes right to your cue pull. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, because Fina, I was just cursing at first. I was like, she's useless. She's just something to look at here. A little blonde there. So you're my healer. I don't know what to do with you. But yeah. then I started up But yeah, I was way behind on that. Like, I lost, like I say, it was probably 20 hours. That was I hilarious. Um, <laughs> big, big, big mistake that I did is I got lost in the dark rift. So on my way to the dark rift, you have to go through the dark rift to get to read this Pop bubble, <laughs> I circled. How the fuck do I get to... Yafutuma. Yafutuma. Thought I knew where I had to go, but I was still hitting all those damn obstacles, and Dear I was just diary. hitting roadblocks, roadblocks, and I was like, I bet you it took me an hour and a half to get to where I had to get to to go into the Dark Rift, and I was like, where in the fuck is this place? Oh, I know. And so, we're talking like, let's say an hour and a half of trying to find where to go into the Dark Rift, and then I got into the Dark Rift, and then you can read the second little thing I put down right after that. The Dark Rift fucking sucked. I fucking hated it. <laughs> Underlined. <laughs> hated it! Because <laughs> it did. I absolutely got so lost and turned around. I spent two hours Was this therapeutic for you to write it down? Yes, in my dear diary. I, I spent at least two hours. So... We're talking close to four hours before I even got to Yafutama. I thought I'm even saying it right. So we're talking like three to four hours, and I'm just lost. And I, I broke down, and I went and looked up a walkthrough. Because you tried through. to do this a lot without having to look. I didn't anything. want to look. I yes. wanted to do it all on my own. I this is my that. first experience doing it. But I, I was stuck. I was so turned around when I started following this guy's walkthrough. I realized when I thought I was turning right or left to go to where I thought I was going, I was actually doing the opposite. I was so turned around and because I kept doing the same loop, same loop, and I oh, thought I knew where man. I was going. I said, if I turn right and go here, I know it's going to pop out there. And then I'd end up at the first again, and I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Just lost. I was losing my shit. I couldn't fucking couldn't navigate that at all uh yeah it, the world the dark rift looks really cool but damn it's mm. confusing as fuck speaking of the game itself what are the graphics like graphics i love the graphics mm -hmm. for a, a game that's 20 years old and you said that to me several times yes you i now, you're like it still looks like a really good game like yeah. it's 20 years old it looks a great game it's great now game. when i first i remember in my head exactly when i i thought damn these graphics look pretty good pretty good it's like right towards the first of the game and it's when you're on the train and the value in i don't know if it's the fortress or the city somewhere around there you're, mm -hmm. you jump on a train and I remember as you're running along the top of the train, I was just like... Oh, yeah, I, I like, remember that. Damn, these graphics, the colors look so so good, yeah. so crisp. Graphically, I have no complaints at all. That That's was fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. That's awesome. Moving on from that, I think this will probably be one of your favorite categories to talk about, is yeah. music and sound. Because there was no mm -hmm. voice acting They're Very then. little, very little. They'll yes. say one word here and there yeah. real quick. But it's all text, you're reading, you're reading the whole game there. And, you know, I'm surprised that I actually was enjoying it quite a bit yeah. at the end. I, it actually has opened my mind up to the possibility of playing import games and just turning off the... Uh, the, the voice acting the or voice dialogue. Acting and just, yeah, and just read dialogue. it, yeah, possibly. Because um, I can't tell you how many times I was sitting beside him playing and he'd be like, listen to this. Yeah, I so I paused my game. Yeah. He's like, just just listen to this for a little bit. It's beautiful. Just listen to it. The whole game. My, is, like he loved it. My favorite place to visit was Corteca. It's like a jungle, jungle village. village. Yeah. Awesome music. You know? Awesome yeah. music. It's very. I love that. Well, I I got you to listen to he it. He has it in different a different color ink. Has black ink yeah. with an exclamation point saying awesome music. I did. It was all. It was a great little island there because uh, you could climb up 
in slide. Is that down, the one you went on the slide? Yeah, there's oh, two different okay. slides on that. Because he's like, watch, I'm gonna go down the slide. And it looked, and that one looked really good. I thought a ten out of ten on music. Oh yeah, ten out of ten. It, I would love to get this soundtrack. Would you? This this soundtrack could play in like a yoga class it or, made you or feel... fucking going for a massage yes. or meditate or whatever. It's and that's what I was awesome. just about to say. It was really calming. So if you've Beautiful. had a rough day, maybe you don't go into the rift. No. But <laughs> go into the jungle and just listen to music, I yeah. guess. Just listen to the music. Just chill. And chill you out. What about value and replayability? Value and replayability. I, for this, I wanted to actually look up the value of the games right now. Yeah, and we um, did in we, advance. When we bought it, I think I paid 90 And I think it was probably a year and a half ago. Yeah. And I, well worth my money at yeah. 90 bucks. And you didn't do everything and in the game, either. Not even close. There's so many things you can discover. I would really like to break this down value-wise into what you get out of the game. Yep. So, let's just say for Scott, because we're using you as a baseline, you played for 73 hours, yep. you spent $90. I would say... Well worth it, because new games are that and more. Right exactly. Now. now, if you were to buy it... It's $150 this is Canadian. Canadian dollars. Um, knowing what I know now, I still think it's worth $150. Yeah. Now, the GameCube version... 210 complete. That's a little bit harder to swallow. But that gives you more content too, right? It does, but they yeah. say the sound isn't as good. And for me, the sound... Sound made the game. The music in this, this was, yeah, that was the... I don't want to say it's the best part of the game, but it was absolutely It was a great part of the phenomenal. game. Phenomenal. We did also look up the uh, guide. The strategy guide, yeah. yeah. And it was over $200 as well. I think yeah. somewhere in the range of $215 but if you had the poster. There's a poster? Poster. I assume in the poster must be a map. Maybe. I, mean, I didn't look that up too far, but yeah. yeah. I was like, oh shit, son. Mm. That's a lot for a strategy guide. It is. Yeah. But you gotta look at comic books. That's true. Mm. That it's paper media that's constantly degrading and harder to find in There aren't as really... many strategy guides as there are games. There are games, so. exactly. I want to know now, and I, I did ask Scott this in advance, and I was kind of surprised. What's your overall thought of the game? I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. I, I really did. And it went from really liking it to, like, towards the end of the game of just... I sat here last night and I must have put oh hours eight uh, yeah ten hours total for throughout the day because I was brewing beer and in between spots of where I have mm -hmm. to brew I'd run over and I'd play, I'd game. play a game for an hour or whatever and it was hard yeah. for me to determine how much you enjoyed the game because there would be some points you'd be swearing at the game and I was like <laughs> how do I how how do I determine how he feels about well, it? The, based on that but it was eliciting some sort of response the, from you so i guess that's yes, good too. i love the game and the only problems i had with the game is because i'm an adult and i have to work and stuff like that yeah i play my game before i go to work in the morning so i work at two so for myself i like to be finished playing a game at around 11 30 so i can go get ready eat dinner pack a lunch all that stuff mm -hmm. there's been times where i would enter a dungeon or be fighting a boss and I'm looking at the clock looking at the clock looking at the clock and and like stressing I never got to a point where I lost progress yeah except for one spot <laughs> well it's actually the last boss in the game is Ramirez and you have the option to fight him a couple of times mm -hmm. earlier on and when you fight him a couple of times earlier on there's no hope of winning no so I thought it was towards the end of the game and this was the second time I had the option to fight him <laughs> He said, surrender all your crystals and I'll let you and your crew live. Mm -hmm. and, or die and you'll take them or whatever. I can't remember the second option. And I was like, oh, it's on. Let's fucking go. I thought it was at towards the end of the game because I assumed he was going to be one of the last the bosses. One of the ten times I asked you, did you think this is yeah. the end? So uh -huh. I, I chose to fight him. Now, I might as well have just pissed in the wind because it didn't do nothing. And I, this is only the second time I looked... Up. I had to look up 
Because I literally, this is one of my mistakes, I literally fought him for over an hour. Oh, I know. Over an hour and looking at his health bar and there's, I'm like, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. And he's just draining my resources horribly bad. Anyway, go find out. He has 999,999 health points. It's nearly impossible to beat him. Overall, like are we ever gonna know this, I loved it. I love the game. This is a game that would definitely go into my top 10. Yeah, I asked him that and I yeah. was shocked and I'm like, your overall top 10 or your top 10 this, for this year? You're like, no, my overall top this 10. This was an experience. Like I got so invested you know, over those 70 plus hours into my characters. Well, I think that's part of it, that you play for that long and yeah. it's hard not to like, for that to capture a little piece of you. You know what I mean? Big time. It was it was cool. We even did a little video on the phone here at the end, like last night when yeah. I finished it. Um, I couldn't game capture 75 hours of game no. capture because we only have the one laptop for YouTube. Mm -hmm. So we just, she took her phone out because you happened to be down here because I was playing it late at night. Yeah. And when I finished it off, and it was pretty cool. It's it going to be one of those things I remember for probably the rest of my life because That's awesome. Parasite Eve is in that really left, you know. It, it almost it, leaves it, like a stain on you, but in a good stain. way. Yeah, yeah, really. And then other games like Your Last of Us, both of them. Oh, yeah. You know how you get so invested and it really, you know, leaves, you kind of leave a piece of you behind or you get you gain a piece you yeah. take with you or however you want to say it. I totally get that. Yeah. Totally so this that. one here is another one that is like way up there. Somebody got evicted out of your top 10 because you had to make way for Skies of Arcadia. That's the thing. I've never actually sat down and would put on paper my top 10 because I'm scared to because everybody knows that's a struggle. All right, guys. Well, I think this was one hell of a game for you to finally experience your first turn-based RPG. And I'm really wanna, happy you did a review of it. I want to ask everybody out there, because a month ago, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. And if you're a regular viewer, you would, you've would you seen me. I've said it on camera multiple times. I just can't get into the turn-based yep. combat of the RPGs. Well, I have to stand corrected because I actually, I actually love this yeah. game so much that, like, what, now I'm an RPG guy? Now you're an RPG, RPG guy. So I guess this is me now. <laughs> go, goodbye sunlight. Here we go, 100 hour games. I didn't really like the sun anyway. Oh, you're ginger. It's so, <laughs> based on this game, because this is the only one I've really played and I don't know, I have nothing to compare it to. Yeah. Can you guys recommend games that you think I would like? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. All right. All right. That's it. Until next time. Game on. Game on.